Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am just a regular dude walking in the Word. Thanks for joining us as we are continuing our study in the book of Matthew, and we are looking at the Sermon on the Mount, and we're specifically breaking that down into this first section, which is called the Beatitudes. We are concluding that in these next couple um, episodes here. Uh, this last, these last episodes are going to be dealing with persecution, and I'm breaking that down. It, it talks about it in two different sections, and I'm actually breaking this down into two sections uh, here because um, of what it says here in the Bible. Let me read um, uh, from Matthew 5, verses 10 through 12, okay? It says this, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Okay? Now, you're asking the question, like, are Christians supposed to be persecuted? Well, let, let me show you two, two scriptures of Jesus speaking, okay? And that is taken from Matthew 24, 9 is the first one. So you can turn in your Bibles there. Matthew 24, 9 says this. Then you will be handed over to, to be persecuted and be put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. Okay, that's very specific what Jesus is saying here, that uh, you will be persecuted and put to death, okay? So uh, no question there. Still unsure? Let me read, read from John 15, 20, okay? John 15, 20. It says this, Remember what I told you. Remember what I told you. He's been saying this, uh, obviously, for a while here. Remember what I told you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. Okay? So just so you know, in case you didn't know, um, that if you are a Christian, you will be persecuted, okay? Now, also, I'm reading through this book, uh, The Beatitudes, The Only Way to Happiness by John MacArthur, okay? That's that book. He quotes in here, well, he quotes, I'm quoting him, um, on page 189 of his book, it says, if we don't have persecution in our lives, we'd better examine our claim to be Christians. If I'm not the cause for flack in the world, if I'm not making waves, if I'm not generating some sort of conflict, then maybe something is seriously wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, something wrong with my Christianity. Um, and then also here, in Luke 6.26, our Lord said, Woe to you when all men speak well of you. Okay, if, you, if you're out to please men and have men speak well of you, woe to you, uh, Luke 6, 26 says. Don't ever forget about that. When, when you are popular with everybody, that means they don't know the truth about you. Either if you have masked your Christianity or you're not even a Christian at all. You're just floating through. I'm not going to make any waves. I don't want to tell anybody about Jesus. Okay. Today, um, there's in this passage in, in the Beatitudes, there's... He's talking about several types of persecution, okay? Um, and in episode one today, I want to address the first one. It said, uh, let me go back here to Matthew. Matthew 5, um, 11 says, I'm sorry, verse 10, says, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's the first thing I'd like to um, address today, because of righteousness. So, that, that goes right along with, I have the book here, The Hiding Place, uh, by Corey Tin Boom. Okay, see that? So, th this book, I would encourage you to read it, if you have not read it, but hopefully you have read it. It's about um, Corey Tin Boom, who was a daughter um, of Christians in um, Europe. They took in, the, pro the crime they committed is they took in Jews and protected the Jews um, so they wouldn't be exterminated, Okay. That was that's what they were doing. They were doing righteous things. Okay, so they ended up being persecuted for righteousness. This is a good book. This is a good book. 
of course. And it's a good example of that, how you'll be persecuted for righteousness. Just by you doing righteous things, plan on being persecuted. The world, the world is the world. The world is, is self-centered. It's, uh, it's uh, not, not seeking others, okay? It's focused on itself and how can I get ahead? So when you do that, you're going to have conflict um, with someone who's righteous and looking uh, to save others, okay? So anyway, this is a, a good book about that. And that hopefully that helps helps you understand this first part of persecution. You'll be persecuted just because of, of doing righteous things, okay? That's the first way you're going to be persecuted. We're going to deal tomorrow with a second way that you're going to be persecuted also. Okay, so join us tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue talking about the Beatitudes. Lord's blessing to you. I'll see you then.